question, how much time does it take for sarcoidosis to go away? No, that, that's a great question. And, you know, I'm going to be like Debbie Downer right now because sarcoid never goes away. And it's my job to actually look at my patients in their eyes and say, it's never going away. You know what I mean? But always remember the positive side is that most people don't even realize they have sarcoid and live their entire life. Most people that have sarcoid, here's the situation. They get an x-ray to do a preoperative evaluation before an elective surgery or something else. And they see the hilum of the lungs is kind of enlarged or they see a nodule or let's say they have a surgery and they find a granuloma somewhere. It's always a oops. It, I, I, you have sarcoid. And so just realize that most people get the diagnosis, they're going to live longer than me. So that's pretty cool, you know. But, you know, I think that because you can't take that risk, that's why you do see a specialist. That's why we do active surveillance. That's why I always ask about the eyes and the brain and the heart because you just don't know. So the thing is, is that the word I use, and if I have a patient who has active sarcoid, my favorite word is remission. So when I think about sarcoid, I use the same words that my wife uses with lupus and rheumatoid arthritis, is that it's going to be exacerbations and remissions. And my job is to put you in remission. And if I can put you in remission up front through a, a quick burst of steroid, that's one of the best prognostic signs. If I can't put you in remission through steroids and I have to use drug B and C, well, it still could happen, but it's going to be a tougher sarcoid to deal with. So you're always going to have sarcoid. It's never going to go away. But if you follow the recommendations of your doctor, ask good questions that you could probably go on remission and live a happy full life.